Good morning. Today is Tuesday, the fifth day of Tammuz. We begin today the chapter 12, the last chapter of Shar Yichav Emuna, where the Alter Rebbe guides us how to really connect to Hashem. Shema Yisrael Hashem Elekeinu Hashem Echad, the one God. We explained about the emotive attributes that are one with Hashem, and yesterday we spoke in chapter 11, al Rebbe explained how not only the emotive attributes are one with Hashem, but also the letters, the words, the utterances that God uses to create this world, they are all also one with Hashem. And that is why we explained, <clears throat> although usually when we speak about the letters and words, they usually the letters are the ones who come after the, emo- the intellect and emotions. Once a person has emotions, this leads to thinking with letters, with words, <clears throat> which eventually leads into action. Nevertheless, when we're talking about the letters of Hashem, being that they are one and unified with God, therefore they are way superior to the intellect of this world, even to the intellect of the higher spiritual worlds, because everything emanates from, through the letters. That uh, <clears throat> even when God created the Neshamas, the Alter Rebbe explained, even when God created the souls of the soul of Adam Arishan, which is the the head and the roots of the souls of all of the tzaddikim, and which which are the souls of tzaddikim and the souls uh, in general are much greater than even the greatest angels, and yet all of this is done and cre- and came to being through the letters and through the words, and not only through the letters, but even through the breath of Hashem, like it says, Hashem blew into his nostrils a spirit of life. It means that the letters and the, and the words of the utterances of Hashem, of God creating the world, are, are much, much greater, much, much higher. And in this last chapter, the Rebbe concludes with this explaining the details of what, how these letters, and as we explained at the end of last chapter, there are 22 letters, not more, not less. And how, if there's only 22 letters, how do we have all of these millions and trillions of creatures in this world? And he explains that this comes through a different, the combination of the letters. The combination, like for example, you take the letter Aleph and the letter Bays. If you have the Aleph and the Bays together, they <clears throat> combine together to create the word Av, which means Father. If you take the, if you change the combination, if you take the order, Bays Aleph means Ba means come. And there is many many different ways of though the Hebrew letters can be combined. And we're talking about different uh, numerical values. There's many different ways, as we learned in the, earlier in the chapters in the, of this part. So all of these combinations, many, many different combinations, create all of these creatures. But a good point to uh, point out, the Rebbe points out, that here the Tanya, the Alter Rebbe, <clears throat> his purpose is not about going into all these Kabbalistic details of how the world is created and how the different combinations. This is not this is not a, his purpose in this book. The purpose in this book is to teach us how everything is one. Everything is Hashem. At the end of the day, everything, whether it's the creation that is nullified to Hashem, whether it's the God's emotive attributes that is unified with Him and <laughs> not a separate, doesn't add anything to Him, 
and whether the letters of creation that are also nullified. So coming to explain all of this, how it comes from being from the letters to being into created beings to the different combinations is also part of the Alter Rebbe explaining how everything is nullified and comes and comes to into one. And why? Because the, the, the ability of connecting the different types of letters and the deepest different types of energies is through the higher energy, which is above them all, that unites them and, and thereby enabling them to create many, many different types of creatures in this world. So let's look inside how the Alta Rebbe says this. <clears throat> Chapter 12. Although there are only 22 letters that are able to create a vast multitude of creatures, for the creatures are divided into categories, both general, for example, whether humans, or animal and particular. For example, the animal world in turn comprises numerous species of beasts, birds, fish, etc. So where does this divisions come about? So he says, Al Yedei Shinuye Hatsirufim Vechilufim Usmuros Kaniskalaim. This comes by changes in the combinations and the substitutions and transpositions of the letters. As was explained above in the earlier chapters, we explained that there's different uh, substitution. The Aleph uh, can be substituted to, with the Tav and the base with the Sheen and so, so forth. There's many, many different combinations. How this Hebrew alphabet, which is godly, they become, they're being combined, they're being substituted, you're then the numerical values in many, many different ways. So continues the Alter Rebbe says, Because every letter is a flow from an individual particular, particular life force and power. Every letter represents a certain power. And when many letters, for example, many particular powers and meaning many particular powers and life forces, they are combined to form a word, as I, when the letters form a word, then in addition to the numerous kind of powers and life forces from which forth, according to the number of letters in the world. So you have one way of <clears throat> that the number of letters gives certain types of energy. But in addition to that, <clears throat> there is in addition, something which transcending all the particular powers. He says, what is it? He says, there's the flow of a higher power and general life force, which contains and is equivalent to all the various individual powers and life forces of the letters and transcends them all. In other words, there is a, such a high power that is able to combine the different powers, the different energies of each particular letter. And that power is much, much greater that is enables to connect them. And this power, it unites them and combines them. So in order to grant power and life force to the word which was created in both its general and particular aspects, meaning but in the individual cre created beings, 
through this word. So the word receives a certain higher energy that forms the combination of the different letters, the energy of the different letters, and thereby they're, in, 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 they're able, it enables them to create a new creature. Goes on the Alter Rebbe. Now in the, in the footnote, Alter Rebbe says, so it says, therefore, since every single letter of the 22 letters of the Torah is a flow of an individual particular life force and power, which doesn't flow through any other letter, meaning every single letter has its particular energy. Therefore, it says the shape of the letters are different, meaning the shape of the letters represent the type of energy flow that this letter brings. That's what Alter Rebbe says, Lekach gam temun nasan viksav kol ois hi bitmun namiyuchedes potis. So therefore the written shape of each letter is likewise specific and distinctive. And, and, the, and the shape shows about the type of energy flow. He says, Amayra al tziur am shocha v'yizgalus o'evachayus v'akoyach anigla v'nimshach v'oizu. And the, which indicates the pattern of the flow and manifestation of the life and life, of the light and life force and power which is revealed and flows through this letter. Eich unimshach when is gale memidoisa shela kadesh bauchu uretzayna vechachmasa yevichol. How meaning how it flows and is revealed from the attributes of the Holy One, blessed be He, and His will and wisdom and so on. You know, for example, they take the letter vav. What is what does the letter vav look like? It's like uh, a dot in the top, and then there is a line represent drawing down the light. There is, there is different letters. There is the letter, the final nun, for example, is, is this, oh, this almost the same like a vav, but it draws down even further. That represents the energy going down even lower. Every letter has a different shape and has, has a meaning behind the shape. And now Dal Rebbe brings also an example. An example of the 10 utterances, as we said, these the, the words of the ten utterances that God created that is recorded in the in the Torah itself, and each utterance represent it created the main uh, brought the energy to the main creations of this world. There too, we see also the energy that comes in a general form, but then is also the details that comes through these utterances. As for example, it says, It says, through the words and the utterance, let there be a firmament. What was created through this utterance, let it be a firmament. It says, the seven heavens and all their components, celestial hosts were created. Kamaima Razal brings, uh, as our sages of blessed memory speak of the firmament, Yehirakiya, the, the, the Talmud says about the seven different firmaments that were created through this one Maima, this one utterance, Yehirakiya, let it be a firmament. And there is a, the, there's a, the list that the Talmud brings down. One of them, the different seven, the names of the different uh, heavens. One of them is called Shchokim, Sheboi, Rechaim, Oimdois, Vetoichanois, Man, Latzadikim, Chula. Shchokim, in which stands millstones that grind mana for the Tzadikim. Obviously, we're talking about a spiritual, godly revelation that are, is represented in a concept of mana that the Tzadikim benefit from. Then there is another firmament that says it's called Zvul. There's a firmament called Zavul, in which stands the heavenly Jerusalem and the holy temple and the altar. All of this stand in this spiritual 
firmament that's called Zvu. And there is another firmament that's called Machon. Shabo Oitzre is Shalag, Oitzre is Baro Bechulu. The firmament that's called Machon, in which there are stores of snow and, and stores of hail. We're all talking about spiritual concept of this. And Jerusalem, temple, and the snow. It's all about the spiritual concept of that. So each of the, of the seven firmaments thus has its general nature. The fact that it's a firmament, as well as its individual aspect as exemplified above. So this is the heavens as a whole were created and live and exist through these the words of the utterance and let there be a firmament. These words came and brought about these firmament to existence. And then there is the details of each firmament there is that, that are different from one another. And each individual created being in the seven heavens was created and lives and exists by virtue of some combination of the letters of those words, of this, or their substitutions or transpositions. So again, so we talk is giving an example of something that is created with the words, with the Hebrew words, Yehirakia, whatever the, 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 this utterance of God was. And this Yehirakia brought about the creation of the firmaments, the heavens, but there are different ones, and each one, all of them are created from the general concept of Yehirakia. And each particular heaven and firmament that is different than the others, the differences, the different energies are created from the different combinations of these words, Yehirakia. He calls Shinui Tziruf. For every change in a combination is an intermixing and inter, interweaving of the powers and life force in a different form. One of the examples that the Rebbe brings is called Ois Akidemas Betzirufia Giveres Via Ika Vibria Zu. Since each letter that is that comes first in the combination dominance and it is essential uh, an essential force in this created being this is the idea we know about rashi tevis the, the, the le first letters of different words the first letter of each word hey, dominates the, the dominates the word so we have the first letter dominates the energy that comes through this word. While the others, the other letters and forces contained within the word are subordinate to it and are included in its light. And thereby, through the different combination of the, name, of the same letters, a diff, a new being is created. So this is we're talking about the, diff, the, the the different orders of the letters, and the same thing is also true with different exchanges of letters. Likewise, through the substitution of the letters and the transposition, so new creatures are created that are of lower levels than the beings created from the original letters themselves. So again, this is so this is the end of the today's year. Again, what is what what are we get, getting from this class today? Is the fact that all of these creations of the entire world 
So first of all, he says they come from 22 letters. So 22 letters are the source of everything. Every little creature in this world, the billions and billions of creatures that we have in the world, they're rooted in these 22 letters. That, that itself shows how everything comes and becomes unified to one. These 22 letters, in order to combine them, he says you need a higher energy that enables to combine the different energy, energy that comes. And the example that he brought was from the, the heavens that are created. And all of this is to give us the, per, the perspective. And when we look, this is something that we constantly need to remind ourselves. And we walk in, in such a complex world to realize that everything is Hashem. And when everything is Hashem, we live accordingly. Thank you for joining today again. And please make sure to share, subscribe, bring more people, get more Yidin to join this class and listen to the class. And we'll see you again tomorrow, 9 a.m. And any questions?